Brian, a lot could change from now until opening day, but if you look at the roster right now and the way that it's constructed, what's your biggest question mark heading into 2016? Getting that uh, rotation uh, healthy. You know, it's healthy right now, keeping it healthy, maintaining their health. Uh, if they're healthy, they're productive, and so that's the biggest concern I would have. You had mentioned earlier in the week that with Masahiro Tanaka, you have to take it slow. Is there any concern on your behalf that he may not be ready for the first week of the season? No. Um, you know, as long as there's no you know, uh, hiccups along the way. Uh, he's on a normal progression, so you know I think he's being careful. And it's his first go around, his first surgery, so I think uh, he's just answering the questions honestly, which is I don't know what to expect or when it's going to come. But you know uh, his progression is is timely and it should be in line for uh, the season to start. As spring training progresses, is there one thing in particular you need to see from him to know in your mind he's ready to go? No, just you know, taking the ball uh, every five days as normal, and you know, building up his innings, and you know, and Larry, you know, being happy with what he sees, you know, when you know compared to the past years. So, no, uh, you know, uh, if, as long as that arm works fine and there are no issues with the ligament, then he's going to be a very productive pitcher for us. Last year, it seemed as though Joe kind of went out of his way to make sure that he would give him extra rest when he was able to. Is that something that you think the team will try to do again this year? Try to give him an extra day, so so he's not going every fifth day, maybe going every sixth day. I think that would be a benefit, no doubt. Uh, you know, obviously he's used to. You know, uh, extra rest uh, pitching in Japan. So I think when you know we can, we'll do that for him and, and maybe some others too. I think uh, there's a number of guys in the staff that could benefit from some extra time here and there, uh, whether they like it or not. What are your expectations for CC Sabathia, and do you see him as a definitive part in that rotation? You know, I hope uh, I hope he's the productive pitcher that we saw you know towards the end of the season last year. Um, and you know, if he pitches the way he did for us in September, I think uh, you know he'll be you know really. Uh, welcome addition to that rotation, and uh, but we'll see how this whole camp shakes out. We got six starters for five spots right now, and um, more likely than not, I don't see a six-man rotation realistically happening. So, uh, so we'll s hopefully everybody will stay healthy, and we'll have to make a tough choice. With uh, Ivan Nova, he's one of those guys that's competing for one of those spots in the rotation. What do you look when you look at him? What do you look at as a strength for Ivan Nova? What do you look at as something that you need to see him do better to to obtain a spot in that rotation? Consistency. I mean, uh, you know, there's times where he can pitch like a number two, uh, and then there's times where he pitches like a back of the rotation guy. But his ability is clearly uh, much better than back of the rotation situation. So um, now that he's a year past his Tommy John surgery and it's a free agent walk year and a salary drive for him, uh, hopefully he shows up in great shape and ready to ready to really you know reclaim a spot that I thought that he was on trajectory to be a pretty project, uh, pretty uh, impactful pitcher. Um, he can still be, he's young, uh, and uh, so it's an important step for him this year. When you look at the back end of that bullpen, I would think opposing teams would think it's scary. Chapman, the newest addition, he had said in there that he had met with MLB investigators. He hadn't heard if he was going to get suspended or not. Any indication as to whether or not you guys will hear if there is a potential suspension sometime soon? You know, I think Major League Baseball will definitely, you know, be making a decision, you know, probably sooner than later. Um, it's, but they're going to do it on their time frame when they have all the information necessary for them to make an informed decision. Um, and we'll just wait. You know, I can't predict when it's going to happen. But you know, I, you know, I got to believe that. Uh, you know, between now and opening day, I would think we're going to hear something. It's just my guess. Is the waiting game difficult in that situation? No, it's. You know, I've learned over time that if it's, you know. When you're not in control of something, then you know you don't you know you don't waste your time, you know, dwelling on it much. You know, we acquired him knowing that there is a possibility that uh, that something could be happening here on a suspension, and so um, that process is working its way out. And uh, the only thing we knew was he was going to pitch in 2016 in Major League Baseball, and he's going to pitch beyond that for Major League Baseball. Uh, and obviously, we made the decision we wanted to be here. It's clear the back end is in place, but the bridge to get to those guys, some maybe question marks as far as who will fill it in. Who should fans look out for this spring training just to see if they can maybe step up and gain one of those roles? Well, you know, you know obviously uh, some of the names uh, are names they'll be familiar with, Brian Mitchell, um, you know, Ch uh, Lindgren, uh, Pazos, uh, you know, some of the new guys we just acquired in the Justin Wilson trade, uh, Sessa and Green, we're kind of curious about, uh, Rumbelow. So there's a, some of the cast that they saw, you know, rotate through here last year, uh, and then some of the new additions from the winter uh, of work. So we'll see. With Brian Mitchell, do you see him more as a starter or more as a swing guy? 
We need him to be a starter. Um, you know, we need to continue to build that starting depth inventory, and uh, and so the preference obviously would be if he's ready to go, uh, along with a Green or a Sessa, uh, to name the, those three as starters waiting in the wings. Uh, but at the same time, we make decisions on what's best on that tw- you know 25 man roster with that 12 to 13 man pitching staff. So we'll see uh, you know who makes the grade. Before I let you go, Brian McCann is clearly your starting catcher, but how do you see that backup role shaking out? Well, you know, Gary Sanchez is going to have a real shot. You know, he really opened everybody's eyes with his season last year at AAA as well as the Arizona Fall League. You know, it allowed us to feel comfortable enough to trade a John Ryan Murphy, who we liked a lot. And uh, so, I, you know, he's got a leg up. I mean, he has a middle lineup type bat, you know, uh, that type of future potential. Uh, his defensive has come a long way. So, It'd be a nice weapon uh, to be able to unleash, but we also have some other guys in camp like a Romine who still, uh, you know, is a, you know, wants to be relevant and and, uh, and find his way in the big leagues as an everyday backup. And uh, uh, Corcoran has come in as a non-roster invite, so there's going to be some guys trying to push their way in the mix too and say, you know, not not just yet, Gary. Gary's going to have a big career, but some. Some of these guys are interested in delaying his career in the big leagues, uh, so we'll see how that competition shakes out.